What's going on guys? So today I have another problem with my Porsche Cayman. The clutch switch is starting to go out, which uh, basically means whenever I try to start the car, I press the clutch and turn the key and then basically tells me to depress clutch in order to start the car. So basically what's going on is that the clutch pedal, you push it in and then it makes contact with a switch that's uh, towards the top of the pedal arm. You press that in, makes contact with the switch um, or the switch gets depressed and then it basically sends a signal to the car saying, hey, my clutch is depressed, I'm ready to start the car, start it, it works fine. So I guess it's a pretty well known issue that the switch uh, likes to break. And so right now it's kind of intermittent. Most of the time my car starts fine. Other times it takes a few uh, tries before the car starts or I have to just push the clutch in harder than normal. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the switch. So here we have the part. It's part number 997-613-109-50. Pretty simple switch. There's two terminals, basically have to unplug uh, those off of the old switch and bolt the new switch in which it mounts via I think this hole um, it's basically just a plug and play switch so here you can see uh, it's basically a switch that when the clutch pushes on this metal this metal tab right here pushes the black button inside yeah Pretty straightforward, so I'm going to unbolt the old switch and uh, bolt in the new one. So uh, I'm actually going to have to use my phone camera because the uh, space is pretty tight in order to get to the switch and I can't use my uh, DSLR, so sorry for the change in uh, resolution and uh, camera angles and all that stuff. So the switch is located right under the dash. Above the clutch, so, uh, so the switch that we want, that guy right here, so ooh, 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 this guy right up here, this red switch right here, that's for your cruise control. So basically what this switch is uh, in control of, if that ends up failing, it's uh, so if you have your cruise control on and then you press the clutch in, it'll deactivate the cruise control. So that's uh, not really what we need to fix. It's this white guy right here. All right, I think we're just going to unplug the yellow and the brown wire. And there's a little bolt right here. I think we can just undo and it should pop right out. All right, so first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to undo the yellow and brown wires. As you can see, they're right up here. So the yellow is closest to where I'm at right now. So these should just pull right off. All right, so we got the wires off, as you can see there, and I think I was wrong earlier. The switch looks like it's held on by that nut. It's actually, uh, that nut is part of the mounting bracket. It's actually just held on by a screw. Not difficult to see. All right, so, sorry for your bigger guys, but this is gonna be a lot easier to do uh, on my back. So it helps to be small. So 
now I'm on my back. Here's a better look of the switch. So you can see there's a, a screw that kind of goes into a, uh, it's like a bolt that's um, part of the mounting bracket. So on the other side, if we look, we can see that. Oh, here we go. So you can see the screw. A little close. There you go. There's the screw. Oh, shit. So it's a torque screw. Great. All right. So the screw here is a Torx uh, T10. And I have my Torx socket right here. Uh, there's not a whole lot of room. Uh, all right, so I got my Torx socket. There's this little like plastic bracket here that's kind of in the way. So I won't be able to fit a ratchet in here, but I could fix, fit my socket. There's not a whole lot of room under there, but I have my uh, Torx T10 socket and then I have a quarter inch wrench which fits right over the top which will give me a grip and leverage that I need. I'm trying to do it by hand but I can't hold on to this smooth metal part without slipping. So this should work fine. So we have a wrench and torques bit. And there you go. It's loose should be able to do it by hand now. There it is. So here you can kind of see markings on the um, switch itself. So the one terminal right here, that's where the yellow goes. 42, that's where the brown goes. You can kind of see the orientation. There's that gold dowel that goes through, it goes through the uh, frame right there. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, some of the tutorials I saw, or the one tutorial I saw said you have to disconnect that red switch, uh, which I think might be a little more involved. But this is pretty straightforward, especially if you're tiny like me. big work out, so just kidding, I'm doing it for And the switch is out. Okay, so here we are yet again. I've got the new switch in my hand. And we're just gonna put it back uh, exactly how we took the, uh, the old one out. So we're going to double. And right, so lining it up, I'm just gonna put the screw in. Okay, screw it in my hand. wires back in uh, like I said yellow goes to one brown goes to 42 
right. So that's it. Uh, car should start every time now. So yeah, that's it. Uh, overall, not a terribly difficult install. Actually, that was pretty bad. Um, pretty simple item to replace. However, it's in a very tight spot. And for somebody who's my size, which is five foot three and 140 pounds, that was pretty fucking tough on my back. Um, I had to lay down in the seats, as you can tell in the video or on the floor um, just to get in like a proper position in order to remove the item. Um, other than that, once you get into position, um, it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple to unplug and replace the little switch. Um, getting out, that's a whole nother story. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that helps guys. Um, hopefully that switch lasts more than, you know, 50,000 miles. On to the next one. Peace.